behind the music. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, so. What are you doing, man? Are they... <laughs> because I just some improv what? here. What prison did you get those? Common all related questions. <laughs> 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 When did you guys first meet? When did you guys first meet? Oh man, oh, yeah. San Diego, like a hundred years ago. Yeah, yeah, probably around then. And, uh, yeah, he was a pretty crazy guy, and uh, you know, uh, couldn't get rid of him. It's <laughs> <laughs> walking around with a squeegee and a rag. I'll wash your windows, Senor. <laughs> Actually, didn't you see me? I was selling what ceramic Bart Simpsons by the freeway or something like that, <laughs> oranges or something. I don't know. I first saw him or saw his work at the Latino Comic Expo last year. Actually, um, I was browsing around, and I tend to like gravitate towards more alternative comics or like zines, slice of life type of stuff. And this guy was sitting in his corner. And he wasn't really saying much. And he had like these really cool layouts, like prints that he had inked, and they just looked really cool. So I went over and got some of his scenes, and I just I really liked his work. She's good. That was that excellent. Keep her. Keep them coming. <laughs> Keep them coming. <laughs> and it was funny too, because back then I remember like. It was like an amoeba of cartoonists, but of every like uh, every aspect, like low dogs like me to like Matt Groening and everyone in between. We all hung together. And really old school guys, Al Williamson and stuff. Yeah. We all end up in one room and just kind of yeah. like hanging out. I like Liz's work from the beginning because she was. It, it, she looked like she was kind of going along the same line as I was going in the sense of the alternative, outside the box. You didn't need all this flashy stuff. More deeper things that are every day, but not everybody notices until you read it. And you go. And then it takes you off to some place you didn't expect. I like that. That's what I always go for. Do you have any advice or uh, you know something you like to say? These are for some of those young people who are watching some of this stuff. Oh gosh, just my, my big thing is just try not to copy everything. And if you do, don't publish that. Publish something that's totally different from what you see on the stands. I mean, you know, make up your own superheroes, okay, but uh, try and make them as original as possible. Just keep practicing drawing, especially. Mm -hmm. Some people, I think, give up these days about learning how to actually, learning how to actually draw. Right. And I think uh, it's, it's very important that you, uh, you know, know what you're doing around figures and, and comp composition and all that stuff. But that's me. Mm -hmm. you know? I was just telling her earlier when I used to go to the old uh, uh, Comic Relief on Hate Street years and years ago, I'd say hi to everyone and I'd go straight back to the zines, right back past everything first and go back to the meat, as I call it, or the dessert. And then go look at everything else later. But I like her stuff, and it reminds me of that. So holding on to it. My experience, I have kids come up, and I just want to ink. You know, I just want a pencil, and you got guys a letter on. I'm like, do it all, learn it all. Especially learn writing. I tell kids, learn writing. Definitely learn writing, because you know, you, you may have your own ideas. You know, instead of sitting on an assembly. Line. So, but mostly the audio side. What did he say? The cool thing about Jaime's work that I thought was like pretty impressive was like. It's just like three panels, three or four panels, maybe six. But in those like six panels, you get like a really strong sense of the people that he's observing. And there's just like something very poetic about it. And to be able to stack on all of that into just six panels, it's like pretty impressive. I, I couldn't do that. Yeah, um, you could. I've tried. <laughs> I've tried. But you know that thing where Mario said, don't imitate the people you like? Right, right. Yeah, yeah that's where you fail. <laughs> yeah, if you imitate me. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> this is Mario Hernandez, and uh, I'm a writer and an uh, artist, and uh, please come out and join us at the Latino Comics Expo. My name is Liz Mayorga. I'm a writer slash illustrator, cartoonist. Please join me at the Latino Comic Expo. <laughs> My name is Jaime Crespo. I am a cartoonist, writer, and pendejo. Please come and join me at the Latino Comics Expo. <laughs> I'm a writer and artist uh, for Lone Rockets and other kind of uh, comics. And, uh, <laughs> sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> My name's Liz Mayorga. Um, let me say that again. <laughs> Uh, come join me at the Latino Comics Expo. I can't even say that. I gotta do it again. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I couldn't even say the word. Jaime <laughs> Crespo, I am a male model. 
and no, my name is, <laughs> I am a pet owner. Um, my name